Hello again, this is Friedrich coming to you with another video of War in the Pacific Admiral Edition. This is my play by email game against the uh, um, TF 1377. My apologies, I was uh, distracted a bit. But <clears throat> he's playing Japan, and I am the Allies. And we are now February 10, 1942. Let's see what we got going here today. Some anti-submarine action off the Pearl Harbor. I feel like I say that a lot. I guess I do. <clears throat> And it continues, because why not? Although nothing happens that time. And I don't remember having anything specific happening this turn, so. No specific operation I was working on. All right, um, continuation of anti-submarine operations. And nothing happened there. Ooh. That's a shame. The Dutch sub K-9 whiffs with their torpedoes. And we get away without any damage though. And the I-1 shows its face. I believe he's using Midway as a submarine base so if there's damage or they need to replenish they just it's a very close repair shop I hope to be doing something about that shortly all right some of our aircraft hitting their submarines well reporting hits okay so that's our last hope to get supplies up to B Bataan. All right, I think we know what's going to happen here. Four torpedoes. Ouch. Nine of them dropped. A torpedo each though so that's nine less torpedoes all right Singapore is being targeted as is expected some recon, naval search, anti-submarine. Some reports of hits. Let's see if they're good hits or fake. And Kagayan gets bombed, <clears throat> as expected. Let's just get through that. Uh, we do have heavy cloud that may be helping a bit and here's a giant raid as we've seen lately over Bataan and not much damage to him 
but we with all these planes I would uh, this heavy rain must be helping both of us I did a little damage to his planes and he did a little damage to our runway enough to mess up our fortifications efforts and some more air bombardment of Singapore <laughs> and buffaloes on the ground can't get them out quick enough some more sallies on another wave we got one destroyed some air base hits the problem is the weather is light cloud it's not going to do much yep more sallies and another buffalo on the ground looks to be it for the air action <clears throat> not much happening when somebody brings in their whole air force you can only put a put up a fight for so long and then you run to fight another day hopefully yeah this isn't gonna end well Yep, so let's continue to retreat down the road here. Alright. We did lose a ground unit. The other two retreated. And his bombardment popped on. All right, less destroyed, uh, less destroyed units here, guns, vehicles, but still quite a bit disabled, and we lost some disabled squads and engineers. Yep, Benkelin bombardment. I, I'm guessing he's keeping them pinned down until he can. Bring in reinforcements. Alright. Upgrades. Reinforcements. That kind of thing. So. We'll take a few minutes. Go around the map. I there's really <laughs> there's really not much to talk about I'm watching his moves to react and he's very focused in th uh, let's see one I it feels like three key areas one is um, finishing Luzon Mindanao and now Singapore so, but we'll take a look. Be right back. All right. Uh, centered around Pearl. Uh, I, <laughs> the fact that I see these submarine icons, I don't know if that means the latest Intel or the current, um, what we know to be true because these submarines being here indicates we probably didn't necessarily sink any but let's take a look so first we can look at our aircraft losses and we'll see what happened here two sallies one to flak one to ops one lily to flak nell ops kate ops and zero ops and the allies lost nothing now that's not for lack of flying we've got almost 4800 flying uh it just appears to be that they're in 
places he's not attacking right now. Some of them are flying training, sure, and a ASW, uh, naval search, naval attack, but no ships to attack. There's a lot going on on the map, and I do even have cap in different places, such as Rangoon. Uh, surprise, surprise but he's not flying over them. It appears he's going to be focused on Singapore till Singapore falls. Then he'll bring all of his air units or after Manila, uh, sorry, Bataan falls, bring that huge air fleet and uh, bring all that f full to bear against Rangoon, um, leaving that desolate. But we'll see. I can't read his thoughts, or, nor do I know anything regarding his next steps. So, but that's that. Uh, since we didn't lose any planes, we probably didn't lose any pilots, which we didn't. We, uh, let's see, ship sunk, anything lost last turn. Uh, well, yeah, our car light cargo ship, the Escalante... It was bringing one more trip to the Bataan of supplies, uh, but alas, that's not going to happen anymore. And if I sink anything Japanese, first of all, I didn't see the animation, nor did it show, uh, nor does it show here. So we'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, we'll keep rinse repeat. This is. So this is refueling, or a fuel convoy coming in, bringing more fuel. I like to keep this up really high. I don't know that I need a million fuel, but certainly the west coast of the United States doesn't need it either. So why not, right? Um, but let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Alaska, not much is happening here. Again, we're bringing some reinforcements to ADAC, which includes some more engineers. Build that up, hopefully quickly. These reinforcements, the one, uh, 151st Combat Engineer Battalion, has been dropped off. Uh, uh, to, no, I maybe it's... Hmm, I got them confused now. I don't know which one I just recently brought. But... More engineers were, uh, it'd be nice to have a few bases along here as fallback spots just in case. And then these guys are returning. Uh, I noticed they were low on fuel, so I was going to try to bring in something to help them get back to base without running out completely. So let's spread some, spread the wealth and we'll go from there. Um, all right, what else? Uh, anything specific? Not over here, I don't think. I do have several air groups here in Anchorage training, and um, nothing specific planned, but I guess uh, the maybe the bolos can be brought out. Maybe when we get ADAC built up somehow. We do have 21 aviation support already. We could bring in an air wing and just watch out for submarines, Dutch Harbor as well. We do have Catalina's flying search, so uh, just watching for uh, invasions coming from the southwest here. So there's that. Um, so not, again, not a whole lot to talk about. I don't want to take a bunch of time talking about backwater stuff. There's yet no threat to the Aleutians, although it literally could come over the horizon any minute. Um, so, <clears throat> I don't think there's anything happening here. Just ASW stuff, and I believe we're forming up the convoy here. Just Something just arrived from Sydney after dumping some supplies so we will consider what to do next with this maybe another supply run maybe fuel maybe 
upgrade? I don't know. We'll have to take a look at these. Well, here this one could upgrade. Uh, again, we'll we'll review what we'll review our assets here. Um, likewise, Los Angeles. Although this looks like a cargo ship from Panama that just got returned to Los Angeles, and here's another cargo ship right behind. So those can be d deployed any minute. We got these are our um, transport convoys down to the South Pacific. <clears throat> Actually, this is a return convoy. I'm bringing resources to Pearl. It's not necessary or required, but why waste this industry <clears throat> by not having any any resources to convert into supplies? I can always bring supplies in, but I can make it here as well. So why not take advantage of that, right? And uh, this guy, I'm going to have to... Pro oh, I do have some anti-submarine escort coming, bringing it, bringing it in, escorting it in, because this has some extra fuel <clears throat> from. Uh, where did I thought it said where it loaded it from somewhere in, uh, well, San Diego, but it seems like loaded at San Diego. I've seen that before. Why can't? Why am I not seeing it now? Not a big deal. I just think stuff like that's interesting. Maybe here. Yes, loaded at San Diego. So <clears throat> I kind of like that. Gives me an idea of where these ships, task forces, are originating from. We got some resupply, refuel convoys in this area, passing through to and from the west coast. <clears throat> nothing special happening here this is just a supply convoy no troops being moved in this area at the present um this is troops we got some marine corps tanks we've got marine raiders Mar second marine regiment <clears throat> these a lot of these marine corps units are being brought here to Numea because I had yet to take Luganville when they left. And then the idea is, I think because the port capacity is so low, I may convert to um, amphibious and bring them to Luganville with that. Um, and the goal here is I put a Navy uh, seaplane tender here. The idea is to set up some patrols over here as well. We got a submarine lurking. Going to have to watch out for that and make sure we have some escorts when we operate out here. Uh, speaking of which, <clears throat> um, this guy is coming in with one destroyer. If he comes in and gets a good hit, that's not going to be fun. So we'll have to look into that. Maybe convert this to anti-submarine search. We'll see. I do have some <clears throat> air units that have trained as anti-submarine. This one, I believe, is training ISW. So he could fly out of, um, well, what's his range? He, six, which is halved, or th uh, three. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, anyway, it won't be the full four. One, two, three, four to get into Luganville and right now I don't have the capacity to go above six and I kind of wanted which is enough for this but I kind of wanted to get some search air not ASW air but in the meantime I guess I could get some anti-submarine air protecting Luganville that might not be a bad idea <clears throat> I do have ASW here in the form of this HQ squadron so I know that's not a lot, but um, let's see. Well, I don't think there's a lot to discuss about this area. We did clear it as, you know, a turn or two ago. Uh, I think I'm going to pull this guy back to Numea. 
and start thinking about training for a new destination. I'm not 100% sure yet. And uh, I have this fighter command is going to end up in Kumak, not for a while, but it will end up here because I intend to build this up as my main uh, air base. It can get up to 10. Uh, so I think that's pretty amazing. And then we can really bring in some air assets to cover this um, South Pacific in between Luganville and Denny and, and the east coast of Australia. Should be impressive. We'll, we'll see. That's my hope, but practice is a different, reality is a different story. These are some... These are just some cargo ships that are going to come to Sydney, refueled for with just enough fuel to get back to the United States and be available for new trans, uh, new runs, whether it's cargo, more air, or fuel. And not much going on in the north here, northeast. Um, got my subs patrolling in, in various areas here, hopefully keeping him from, well, hopefully sink some con convoys going through here. Uh, yeah, like I say, not much has changed since last turn. You saw the turn run through. I haven't done much, and uh, obviously he hasn't done much in this arena yet. Of course, he kicked me out of uh, this base here. I am going to just sit tight. He'll have to come kick me out again. It's uh, It may not be the best way to slow him down, but it's... Well, let's see. This is a river. That's a shame. He'll just... <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. He will do a shock attack, so I won't be slowing him at all. And he'll probably wipe this out. So they'll surrender probably to a shock attack. Oh, uh, that's a shame. Okay. Um, mm, he's not attacking me at Kagayan and Bataan. And he's not threatening to come across into Singapore just yet. So there's that. This little guy, I figure, why not check out if anything's at Victoria Point or not? We'll see. Maybe that's that might be a waste, but he's he's not going to do anything anyway. Still no sign of crossing the river into Pegu. My at this stage, my guess is this: he's going to wait until he has enough air assets to pummel this into the dirt. I will cover as the best I can, and then I won't be able to anymore, and I will pull back out, and he'll he'll walk in when he feels like it's been weakened enough to do so, something. Hopefully, that's a long time. The goal is to, you know, hey, if we're not going to have aggressive action, maybe we can hold out that much longer. We'll see. And India, there's just... Yeah, it's just mostly regrouping, reinforcing, training. And China, yeah, it's pretty quiet. All quiet on the Chinese front. He appears to be moving up this road to, toward Nanning, which I doubt he'll cross anytime soon. Uh, but honestly, who knows? Fortifications are coming along nicely. Um, but yeah, other than that, he's policing Ai Chang. I, I did switch these bombers in Yan'an to drop supplies right here. And it might... I haven't looked at the last turn, but I believe that's higher than what we had last turn. So, hey, any little bit helps. If we could get, I <laughs> this would be a huge task. 
but if we could get 800 supplies in there these guys would fight a lot better that's for sure so yep um all right yeah there's uh, again there's not much to talk about i can't even talk about plans i have yet because i don't quite have any uh i mean again the plans currently are specific if we want to talk specifics it's to it's to reinforce these bases here out to fiji and even pago pago to, and and Canton hopefully hold that for the rest of the game but generally it's to just shuffle supplies and troops around as needed and specifically to as I reinforce these and build up the bases start advancing in Denny build that up make it a uh, strong fortress as well as base for to, from which to use air operations against what to loggy or whatever else he might do in this area because if I can strengthen this and have an air presence in this area then I can say okay I can even bring my carriers up into this area and know that they're safe with air per air cover and maybe then hit to loggy secure Guadalcanal this southern solomons and then maybe consider what to do about the uh, the gilberts maybe start working our way this way uh or pull back all the way over uh canton build well the air capacity is not good here this will not be a major base to operate out of however we could potentially stack some fighters uh let's see uh, wrong click um i mean we could certainly stack several fighters here and the fighters would give us air cover for our carriers our carriers could extend air cover to as well we could retake these bases and maybe work our way into the gilberts but also we've got to keep our eye on johnston island and midway probably johnston it's the proximity to hawaii makes me really encourages me to take that sooner than later however midway is uh, a bit better of a base currently as it stands not much better but it is a bit better and so it'd be nice to take that out as well uh, and and so i'll have to you know make a determination what i'm going to do next i do have i am getting some battleships into hawaii maybe we'll do a sortie and and do a shore bombardment of one of these two islands especially if we can get the kb to show itself and we can know that we're safe doing a battleship raid i certainly don't want to be caught out in the middle of the ocean with kb bearing down um yeah not much else to say um currently i'm i i'm not satisfied with this strength here 303 assault strength it's it's what it's going to be for uh, for now i believe and for the near future if he wants to come and try to take it i think putting more troops here might not help anyway because he can destroy the base and the defenses there no matter how many troops will be that much weaker with the supplies all being eaten up by huge numbers um there is unlimited so there's that so anyway it it appears currently as the game stands today it appears if he wants to put a concerted effort into an offensive he will take what he wants so he he could take and he could take luganville back all these bases are not necessarily fully secured yet by any means i've just decided to take the approach that says let's build up these islands and work our way up into the into a thrust where and denny is our b base of attack not again not as a port because that's going to be terrible but as a an air base 
we'll have this air base here this port will be can be a decent one i know numea can be a, a very good port as well when it's ready uh fate mm, so so but there are options here and we'll just have to consider the options pick pick a scenario that works for us and run with it i i'd rather focus and not spread out you know assets here assets there plus assets here and assets there and lose all of it so this is i think i'm going to go with this strategy i've reinforced this i think as much as i'm going to um we got some artillery here as well as i believe our coast you know coastal defense base force what else we got here we do have the australian corps hopefully the leadership there helps uh pro i tr trust me i i intend to combine all this into into the port moresby brigade the lark battalion is is not half bad and we'll combine these or or not and i know there's a foul up with the hq these are attached to so they can't be combined we do have armor that armor will help hopefully uh, repel attacks and uh, my goal is to build this up okay it looks like it's uh, almost fully built up. In fact, re, um, upgraded even. Uh, we've got the Matilda 2 tank. That's nice. And the Stewart light tank. <clears throat> so this unit seems to be in a good position and a good way to, well, help at least. Uh, okay. So that's that. Again... I don't want to stack this too high. I don't really want to stack anything too high, to be honest. I don't want to put all my eggs in a basket and get wiped out. But if I were to pick, it would be these islands, reinforce, rebuild. Also, another thing that's interesting is the air. Well, the air capacity here is uh, six or in this case, nine. So that's a pretty good air base. Uh, so that's certainly something to rethink. And <clears throat> and. It is being built up. We are expanding the airfield. And I, I do need to get more air aviation support here. We've got a poultry 24 plus an AV. Uh, I believe the Langley is parked here. Sorry, not Lang. Uh, is that the right word? Yeah, Langley. That's the right name. So mm, if I could scrounge up another av uh, aviation support unit i i think that's not a bad place to put it and i've got aviation support here and and gonna be here and uh zero here so i just need to work on getting these guys ready air base is built up and then bring out my heavy bombers and see what they can do uh, I guess that's that's that. <clears throat> Again, I talked a lot about the South Pacific, but really, that's the only thing I got going for me. And anywhere else, it's just a guessing game. How much, how much of these bombardments and shellings and and overwhelming air attacks he's going to do before something interesting happens. And in the meantime, just hold and wait i'm gonna keep bringing supplies into rangoon it certainly will flow hopefully to china and so we'll keep that coming in to because why not might as well have this 100k supplies so it'll be hard for him to deplete that i mean more than a hundred thousand is great uh, we got plenty of it being made in in india to extract and take over there it's spread out into some of these bases delhi has plenty uh bombay has plenty amada amadabad that uh, i was just saying the name it doesn't really have a lot but karachi as you would guess madras and i believe yeah cochin so yeah we have 
plenty of supplies to draw from. So that's that for now, guys. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions or questions or criticisms, even I'm all, I'm all ears. I'm lear I'm still learning. I feel like I learn something new every time I open this game up. So thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. And enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are. We'll talk to you later.